How's it going guys? My name is Eric from Wilderman and welcome back to Geometry Dash. In this video, we're going to hell. That's right, bring the suntan lotion because we are gonna bake our bodies and we're gonna get a beautiful tan when we go through hell. It's gonna be beautiful. You gotta make the most out of a situation. If you're gonna go to hell, may as well get a nice suntan out of it, right? Before we begin, I will be doing a shout out. I'm gonna be doing a shout out to a Jamshaz YouTuber called Dota Me. The reason why I'm shouting out Dota Me is Dota Me uploads content all the goddamn time, like every single day, pretty much. It's really awesome. I love that dedication. It's so cool. So check out Dota Me. There's always interesting stuff. Dota Me is a good player, a good creator, just a mix mash, a mishmash of everything. Very cool stuff. You won't regret it. Check it out. The link is in the description and in the comments down below. This is a demon level. It says insane there, but it's just because it's not yet rated. Whenever I do this, people still complain in the comment section like, Oh my god, it's not a demon. But yeah, it's gonna be a demon, okay? Alright, let's do it. Let's go. We're on the way. Practice mode, here we go. Now the first little bit lures you into the, a false sense of security because you think you're like, This is really easy. Wow, this whole level's gonna be easy. I mean, there's no tricky bits here. I can't believe I just died there. Okay, let's not die here like a noob. So yeah, it definitely lures you into false sensitivity. But then this happens and you're like, oh, wow, a f three times wave. Hey, three times wave. And if you're like me and you suck at the wave, then it's gonna give you some trouble. <laughs> so you just gotta pretty much memorize the feel of this wave. It's not that bad once you get it. There's a lot of space here. Oh, there's a lot of space! But when you're in those little straight sections, you really gotta mash the button. You really gotta, you really gotta mash. Very much unlike that. Come on! Oh, stupid. Ma there we go. So I mashed. And then now this part happens. And what you want to do is you want to hit the jump ring kind of at the bottom of the jump ring. You don't want to go too high. If you go too high, that's going to happen or too late. So you go kind of at the bottom of it. Hey, hey, That was a fail. What am I doing? Bottom. Oh, that was too late there. Too late. There you go. And then you got to press it one more time as you're going through there, the button. But not very hard. So you go through there. Boom. And then press it one more time. Just tap it just to stay down. All right. So this is kind of showing you what to do. Boom. And then, oh, God, I tapped it too soon. Tap. There we go. Just like that. One, two, three, four, four. So that's just you pretty much hit the UFO buttons every single time you go through there. But you got to wait a little bit. You don't want to do too early. Like if you jump through here and hit it too early, that'll happen. So you wait. One, two, three, four. Boom. And then you just kind of mash it, really. Now you go down here, you're gonna change into reverse, and you gotta hit another jump ring and fly through this kind of skinny section, but it's not that skinny. It's not supersonic skinny. It's uh, it's pretty doable, actually. That part looks like it would be one of the trickier bits, but it's actually one of the easier parts, <laughs> to be honest. The wave parts tend to kill me more, and the uh, ship parts that you gotta hit the jump rings, right? Like that. Well, this one doesn't, this one doesn't kill me that much, but the first one could kill me a few times. And then you gotta make sure to jump, and that's what this level's all about. It's all about it transitions so quickly, you have to remember that jump there. Now this part, it's really hard to see in practice. I, I think the jump rings will be more pronounced in normal mode, but you jump here, you wait. Now this one, you gotta make sure there's some parts where you have to wait, like wait, jump, wait, jump, and then there you just jump. Okay, so there's one jump ring, boom, ba boom, wait. Boom, hold down the button, just jump, you go through the green portal, and actually when you go through the green portal, you don't have to press anything else because it automatically changes gravity on you. If you jump, you'll die. And then you gotta get ready, and it's another quick transition because you have to press the button so quick. Bah! You gotta mash it to get through there. And uh, boom, boom, boom. That part's easy. And then it's actually kinda calm until the end. It really is kinda calm until the end. So there's a coin down there, so what you want to do is you fall down and you- Normally what you do is you jump to that yellow one, because that's the only one you can see. But you go boom boom and you fall down there, do some mini jumps, one one. I actually gotta do three jumps there, let's try that again. One, two, three, and then wait, one, two, three, four, and you hit it every single time there. We come to a decently easy wave section, but it's all about the transitions, right? It's it, Once you get out of the wave section, you gotta make sure to jump. And if you don't jump after coming this far, you're gonna hate your life. Yeah, you would hate your life there if you got through all the hard bits in the level and then you decided not to jump. Just jump! All you gotta do is jump, but you have to jump quick! You gotta remember that shit. And now there's just a little bit of, uh, kinda easy-ish straight flying at the end. Ow. Unless you go for that coin, which I wanna go for the coins here. There's two coins at the end. It's nuts. And, uh, come on. There we go. 
and fly, fly, fly. I'll put a little checkpoint there. You gotta fly under and grab that, by the way. So the way I like to look at it is if you see there's some spikes on the bottom, those spikes on the bottom will kill you. You can't just like fall completely down. You gotta fly in between there and then fly up. And it's not that bad, but it's just you need to make sure you're looking at the right things, right? And look, this level's dedicated to me. Woo! And funny game and Merg and Wamik and Michigan and the Tanar. I, I, that was too late. I couldn't see it. This level is harder than it looks, but it's just mainly because of the quick transitions. You have to remember all those transitions exactly. You can't just read it as it's coming and do it. You need to remember the transitions. If you don't remember, you're boned. So I've already put in a lot of attempts to get used to these transitions. 558 attempts. Craziness. And, uh,. <laughs> Oh god, good luck to me. There's a few parts. There's a lot of tricky bits that are gonna prevent me from beating this level and I'm, I'm a little nervous. I mean, I'm feeling, I'm gonna say I feel 50% confidence in myself to beat it quickly. Um, but the realist in me is like, Eric, you're, you're gonna be spending like over an hour trying to beat this, aren't you? Unless I beat it first attempt. I need to, uh, it would be awesome to like beast mode a level, damn it. <laughs> Damn it, you know, I get through the wave, and the wave gave me so much trouble when I was first practicing it. And here I go, I get through the hard part, the wave at the beginning, and then I die. I don't even die to, like, the hard part of the ship. I just flew right down to the ground. That's dumb. <laughs> that's, a, that's what we like to call a stupid death. A death that shouldn't ever have happened. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh! Oh my god. Ah, oh, I hit the jump ring too late. See, these jump rings when you're the ship, you have to press them like right when you get to them. If you press them late, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna die, you're gonna go into the wall. You have to time it so you're going down, you fly and you hit it. And you can't hit it too low either. If you hit it too low, you're, you're gonna fly into the wall. You gotta make sure you're like skimming across the top of it. I mean, there is a little bit of leeway. I, I shouldn't say that you have to be skimming across the top of it, but you know, towards the upper end of it somewhere. Right, otherwise you're gonna die. All right, come on, let's do this. That was a really good attempt, actually. I'm really happy with myself. Now it's time for a bunch of shitty attempts in a row, I imagine. Whoa, oh man, I could have flown through there and I could have not touched anything. I would have still been upside down. That would have been pretty cool. I, I did, I missed the jump ring. I, uh, I tried to go too much to the top of it, that sucks. So don't try to go too much to the top of it because that's what's gonna happen. Oh man, I really, really tricked myself out in my own mind. But man, I am doing better than I thought I was gonna be doing, so hey. Fuck. Yeah, time for the, time for the lame-o deaths. Here we go, they're coming. I know they're coming. Oh no, I got through there and then I really just, I just fell down. Man, I... That was a shaky attempt. I almost died. I almost died the whole way through the wave and the rocket. I was like, oh, I'm still alive? What? I thought I <laughs> messed up my inputs there a little bit. Man, I was... I'm kind of proud of myself for keeping myself alive through all that. Oh. <laughs> I was getting really light with my inputs. Yet yeah, now is the time where I die at the beginning of the level continuously. But I'm getting through the wave part, you know, fairly consistently. I died a few times, but... Confidence! Confidence level 60%! It's rising! It's rising! Oh, yeah! Confidence level 10%. <laughs> oh, poop! Whew. Is it getting hot in here or something? Jeez. Oh, wait! It's hell! <laughs> okay, I'm dying to the wave bits a little bit. I think we need to do a little bit of a prayer. Alright, guys. Now, because we're in hell, our prayers will not reach outside of hell. So we need to pray to Satan. Satan, are you in there, little guy? Satan, let me beat this wave section. Oh, Satan, if you're in there, please listen to me. I will do whatever you want for one day if you let me beat this level, okay, Satan? Okay, I think he heard me. I think I'm gonna win now. Ah, oh, man. That jump ring! A jump ring gets me a lot. I didn't think it was going to be getting me that much. I thought, you know, I'd thoroughly practice that area and I wasn't going to mess up that jump ring much. Oh, man. So, by the way, guys, I mean, I guess I should talk about the level a little bit. This level looks fucking awesome, doesn't it? This level's great. Oh, my God, this level's great looking. Oh. 
This level's great looking, but don't talk about it while you're going through the wave, Eric. Oh, uh, <laughs> fuck! Oh, some of the spikes are small, some of them are big. You hit the big one. I hit the big one protruding out. Why can't I just need to? I just need to get past that little ship part right there. Just as I just as soon as I get past there, it's not bad. I just gotta get past there. Why can't I get past it? What? How did I, I fucking hit the jump? Oh no! No, no! I made it past all the hard bits. You know. I think uh, the song kind of sounds a little angry, doesn't it? It's like, yeah, yeah, hell, yeah, right? And I think it's affecting my mood a little bit. It's making me angrier than I normally would be. Oh, fuck. Fuck, are you fucking... <laughs> it's, uh, it's making me really angry. Are you ready for some badassery? Holy shit, I did it! <laughs> I did it! I got all the coins! I thought I was gonna die there at the end! Oh my god! Oh my god, I missed the first coin! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I hit the jump ring too early. I don't even care. I don't even care. I did it. I beat the level. Hoorah, baby! I beat the level! I beat hell! I was doing really bad on this level. I was doing so bad. You have no idea. I was getting really frustrated. And then what happened is I went and I took a nap. Because it was nappy time for Eric Van, 30 years old. My birthday was a few days ago. It was nappy time. And I did nappy time. And I came back and I beat hell after my little nap time. Fuck, man. That took me a while. I mean, I came back and it only took me five minutes. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to sleep on it, okay? You just need to take a nap. This level is considered an easy demon. I mean, people would consider this easy, right? It's... There's more than meets the eye here, though. It's fun. It's fun as hell, right? It is fun, but holy man, it, it's like a harder easy demon. You know, if that makes any sense, it's one of the harder easy demons, because holy shit, this kicked my ass. I saw a video for this, thought it was going to be easy. And uh, it's still, I mean, it's, it's an easy demon, but... I, wow, wow, I didn't think it was going to be this hard. I think I, I must have put in, oh, I almost put in a thousand attempts. I was going to say I must have put in at least a thousand. Holy shit. But Hellbicer Punch and, uh, and Shig. Hellbicer Punch and Shig, really fun level. Sir Punch made the decoration and, uh, Shig made the gameplay. It plays really well. There are some frustrating bits, though. Especially if you're new to demons, I'll, I'll say this. In the wave part at the beginning will be a little frustrating for you. Now, wave is the part that I'm not the best at. It's the game mode that I'm not the best at. And so that wave part, it kicked my ass, but I was I was getting the pattern. As I was going through it more and more, I got the pattern, slept on it, and then got it very, very quickly. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but it, it does require some quick reactions. Be three times wave parts are just inherently hard. They're hard, they're difficult parts. Three times wave is never easy. It's so fast in one tiny little timing error and you're dead and you're, it's back to the beginning, right? The wave is a hard game mode. It's hard. And it's the, it's the reason why it's some people's favorite game mode. Because it is very hard. It's very quick. But it's very satisfying when you get it. And that's why it's some people's favorite game mode. So, yeah. Wow. 
Anyways, hell by Serpunge, very cool. Thanks for the dedication. Um, Serpunges, Serpunge, your decorations are always so amazing, by the way. The part with the upside down crosses when you're the ball, I'd say it's so cool. This level looks so cool. And the gameplay is a lot of fun as well. So she did a good job on the gameplay, but you know, I was just getting a little frustrated in a couple bits, but it isn't the fault of the gameplay. It's just there were some hard bits I had to get better at. And it's satisfying once you get it, it is, the transitions are so fast, they're so fast, you have to be ready for them, but when you do get it, it's so satisfying. That could be the same as like, like the same could be said for every level of the game. It's so satisfying once you get it. Uh, but this level in particular felt really good to go through. It was a lot of fun. So thanks for the dedication, a lot of fun. Hope you liked this video. If you did, remember to leave a like down below. And as always guys, peace.